Welcome. In the scope of this tutorial will be to show you how to create your own app and require an access token for it and that probably extend it to a two to three months period as Facebook apps allows us to nowadays. So you just have to go to the app page which is developers.facebook.com slash apps. Create a new app. Now, your app name should be something unique to Facebook, so let's just do Facebook comment post. It should be unique because I just deleted this app. You don't have to fill in the namespace or the web hosting for now. You can do it by yourself if you want to, but it will not be covered by this tutorial, so let's just continue. Enter the security check. And there we go, my app is created. Now all we need to do is set a domain name for it. This will be your website domain. Your website domain should look something like this. This is my website domain, so I'm gonna use it for testing purposes. If you want to use another domain, it's your own domain. It should redirect your clients to your own domain. So after I've entered that, I'll just click on website and pass in here the HTTP website. Notice, here we have the HTTP which is a requirement for this website input value and this one is just the domain name. So we don't have to put HTTP here, here is just the domain name. Save changes. Now, gamma source must be derived from your site URL. So, I've typed it down wrongly. Gamma source.com. Save changes. Sorry about that. Sometimes our minds work faster than our hands. So, the next step that we want to do is open our folder, Facebook post. We have our documentation here. So next thing we want to do is go to this URL. Note that this will be provided, you don't need to search for it or start writing it inside. Open a new page and just paste in the page. It should take you to this page. Now if you don't have any access token here, if you previously haven't been using this thing, it will probably look like this. The thing you want to do is make sure the application is graph Appy Explorer. Next thing you want to do is get access token. Now you'll have to check in all of these values here and extend the permissions. Then you click access token. You copy this token down. We'll just make a new file here called actual data. Put this in here and we'll just write down graph API access token. I will mark access token as AT. Just a side note. Next thing we want to do is get our app ID. So let's just copy these things. into our document folder delete the extra spaces that are not necessary and save you can do that by pressing ctrl s or going to the menu and save now after you've got the app id and access token next thing we need to do is extend the access token. This is the main meal of this whole tutorial. So I'll go down and explain how this works. We just paste it in the actual data so we can complete it more easily. We just take the access, the app ID, and paste it inside here. Notice what has been selected the brackets and client ID app. The rest need to be there otherwise 
this whole URL won't be working. So just paste in there, get the app secret, and paste it here. Now, what you would be thinking like, uh, this access token must be this one that we're requesting, but no, it's not like that. So, what are we gonna do is just go back to Facebook and instead of apps, we will go to tools slash access token. And here we have all the access tokens for all our apps. What we want to do is grant permission to our current app, which is FB Common Post. So we just click on need to grant permission. It's gonna take a while. This is gonna result into access token created. Please click OK to continue. You just click OK. And now you double click this access token and copy it into your actual data. But you will name it tools access token this side mark is very important because it is confusing how this whole graph app API and everything is working so just take it step by step and you will get to whatever result you desire copy it down here now this is the app actual app access token if you would have went with this one, well, let me just show you what happened. I'll just copy it here and paste it. Now I'll just take this whole URL and paste it in the browser. It will say, the asset access token does not belong to the application with application ID. This is because you are trying to access it through the access token that was generated but not for your specific app so what we're gonna do is change that to this one from the tools page Let's change the whole access token to this paste in and press enter now we get a result with an access token this is an access token that is extended to a two months period now we will write here extended access token so just keep in mind this is the extended access token how we can check if, has it, is, if it has been extended or not well we can close this page we no longer need it we just go back to here we have access token debugger so we click on access token debugger notice it's on tools and it was on ac access tokens and now we are on the debugger so it's debug slash access token paste it here and we can debug it it says issued 52 seconds ago and it will expire in about two months so this was the tutorial on how to extend your access token following next will be how to add an access token from your app to your facebook fan page so thank you and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial